Well, guys, things are pretty much back to normal. We've got our grass back, we've got our hoops back. They're almost finished putting back old Rusty! Okay, kids. Yay! Thanks, Siege. You really saved us. You've brought the joy of learning back into our lives. Ah, uh, and fish sticks, too. You got everything you asked for. All right, you sneaky little ne'er-do-wells. Class starts in five minutes, so in four minutes, I expect you to stop playing and start preparing to stop having fun. Well, almost everything. Don't worry about it, Vince. Like I say, I think I can break her down. <laughs> A sardine and onion sandwich. Nice try, Detweiler, but you're not gonna break me down. <laughs> Now, take out your pencils. It's time for another test. <laughs> All right, so maybe Miss Finster is one thing you just can't change. But around school, stuff is still changing all over. For instance, last year's kindergartners moved up into first grade and had to start acting like normal kids. Whoa! Give me ball! Give me ball! My ball! My ball! <laughs> Hector, Tubby, remember, now that you're big first graders, you're to talk and act like normal children. Excuse me, may I have my ball back? Pretty please. Here you go. Ah! Gimme ball, ball, gimme ball, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme! Give it time, the year has just begun. For another thing, since King Bob moved on to middle school last year, we got a new king, King Freddy. Freddy's okay, but I think he's still kind of getting used to the job. Your Highness, this boy here was caught calling another boy Gooberhead. <gasps> Gooberhead, you say? I hereby decree that he be dragged across the playground by a team of third graders, soaked with fruit juice, rolled in a sandbox, then tied to the backstop until he mends his ways, or until the roly-polies get him. Whichever comes first. Huh? Um, sir, don't you think that's a bit harsh? Uh, oh, very well. Five minutes timeout for being naughty. Phew. <laughs> but then the biggest change of all, something that came as a complete surprise. Greetings, fellow fifth graders. What do you want, Menlo? We're kind of busy hanging out. And a fine job you're doing. However, as King Freddy's new messenger boy, it is my official duty to tell you that the king desires your presence. We didn't do anything. Oh, he doesn't want to punish you. He has an important announcement, something I believe you'll enjoy. Hurry now, his highness doesn't like to be kept waiting. An audience with the new king? Whatever for, I wonder. Something good? Perhaps we're to be his merry band of court musicians. Something better than that. But school just started. We don't deserve anything good yet. TJ does. I do? Well, yeah. He saved the school from all those crummy rules. If I was king, I'd give him the biggest reward I could think of. Heck, I'd even make you a knight. A knight? Really? You think he might? It does seem logical. What a magnificent gesture. Hey, congratulations, Teach. Well, thanks, Vince. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Guard! What is this winger-dinger doing in my mouth? Uh, sir, you requested a winger-dinger. I specifically requested a muncherific nut-nut bar! Mm -mm, sorry, your Oh, no! It is I who is sorry, guard, for your sake. Hmm. This calls for severe punishment! Your Highness, we have arrived. Huh? Who's there? It's me, sir. TJ and my friends. And might I say it is with great humbleness that I accept the honor you're about to give me. Who is this boy, and what is he babbling about? T.J. Detweiler, your freddiness? He's the boy who saved the school from the Board of Education. Oh, that old thing. Yes, yes, Nifty. No subject, kids. I've ordered you here about an issue of actual importance. Well, don't just stand there. Step back. Your king approaches. Ugh. Oh. As king of this playground, I hereby formally extend to you this invitation to join the secret 5th and 6th graders club. 5th and 6th graders club? What's that? Yeah, I never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> of course you've never heard of it. Up till this year, you've been 4th graders. The secrets of the top secret 5th and 6th graders club have been kept secret from you. But what's the club for? Yeah, what's in it for us? Ah, this you may not know without first taking the oath. Guard, the oath. <clears throat> I, fifth or sixth grader, do hereby solemnly swear never to divulge the secrets of the secret fifth and sixth grader club to anyone littler than a fifth or sixth grader. Okay. Yes. All right. Very well. Whatever. Because if I do, then the king will think up a really bad punishment for me. Excellent. Glad you big kids agree. Now follow me. Nothing personal, King Freddy, but this doesn't seem like much of a clubhouse. Stop thinking like a fourth grader, Detweiler. This isn't the clubhouse. Guards, any K through fours watching? We're clear, sir. Very well. Whoa! Yes.
Yes, yes, that's what they all say. You may enter after me. A secret passageway? This is my kind of club! My interest is oh, right. right, too! Delight. Whoa! Oh. Huh? Quickly, Gus, on your feet! Yeah, so you can check it out! Welcome to the 5th and 6th graders club! <laughs> <laughs> what a dummy! Hello, newcomers. Hey, you buds. Bottoms up! Hi, guys. <laughs> Like, pull up a cushion. Hey, wait a minute. Nobody told me the Ashleys were going to be in here. Oh, yeah? Bet no one told you we'd be in here neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you let Lawson in here? What kind of club is this? Hey, hey, Vince, it's okay. It's cool. We're all fifth and sixth graders here. So? So, in the fifth and sixth graders club, fifth and sixth graders all get along. There ain't no us guys and them guys no more. Here we're all us guys, except the girls. They're us girls. What about Randall? Ah, he's a snitch and therefore not a member. Enjoy yourselves, and remember, keep this a secret from the little kids, or else. Well, Vince, what do you say? Join me and the guys in a game of Crazy Eights? Well, what do you think, Teach? You wanna play? What are you playing for? Cheesy pretzels. There's a whole big bowl of them in the kitchen. Then count you me got in. it. So let me get this straight. I can come hang out near you guys, and you won't annoy me or act like snobs? Of course not, silly. Seeing as how we are all fifth and sixth graders, Hey, they're putting up with me. Something I would never have done in fourth grade. Yeah, well, only I don't read those dumb teeny bopper magazines, so there's nothing. Holy Palooka! It slammed down Sally, queen of the wrestling trucker chicks! Only the best for us big kids. Move over, ladies, I'm coming in! Yeah! <laughs> hey! Don't do that! Do this! Man, oh man, that was some fun. I tell you, when I saw the look on... Little kids. <laughs> Good eye, Gretch. Yeah, close one. Wouldn't want the little kids spoiling our fun. Oh, I would be worried about spoiling much more than that. What are you talking about? Don't you see? The 5th and 6th grader club isn't just a place to have fun. It's a utopian experiment in niceness and equality. Yeah, for the first time in my life, big kids hung out with me. And they didn't beat me up. Gilman even hugged me. The club is one big hug, Gus. A rainbow hug of togetherness. Uh, sure, Mikey. And as long as you're salty snack foods, I'm in there. Let's go back tomorrow. Don't gotta I'm ask hollow. me twice. Ah, the big kid life, Mikey. It's the way life was meant to be. friends, yet another recess. Shall we head off to the clubhouse? But of course. I guess that's okay with me. Although, Gus, nothing personal, but you might want to lay off the snack foods. Yeah, we've only been going there for a week and you've really packed on the pounds. What, this? I guess that's club life for you. Ashley Q says it makes me look very distinguished. Yes, Vince, and I've never heard Lawson criticize Gus's appearance. Hey, I'm not criticizing, just noticing is all. Well, I am criticizing. How come every time we go down there, you end up hanging out with those goons? Please, Benelli, they're our friends. Hey, guys, you want to play kickball with us? You know, a good old game of kickball actually does sound good. But Vince, they're fourth graders. So? What do you say, guys? Yeah, I think a little fresh air might do me good. Cool! Count me in. Then you're on. Meet you on the field. You got it. All right. All right. You guys coming? You can't be serious. Yeah, why would we hang out on the playground with little kids when we could be treated so great by big kids? To the club, Gus? Naturally, Mikey. To the club. <laughs> This is the very funniest joke I've ever heard. Hey, chums, I have another one. Why did the fourth grader cross the road? Beats me, Gus. Why? Because he started sucking his thumb and lost control of his tricycle. <laughs> there they are again, hanging with their new buddies and laughing it up. It's bad enough to hang out with those guys in the clubhouse, but now they're eating lunch with them, too? I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Is there? I just figured by now they get kind of sick of them. <laughs> Yes, well, I hate to say this, but I'm starting to get a little sick of Gus and Mikey. They are getting a little annoying. But I bet it's nothing a little time with their old buddies won't fix. Come on, Vince. Let's go talk to him. 
And so the first grader says to the other first grader, Duh, what do I know? I'm just a dumb first grader. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Hello, TJ and Vince. Pull up two chairs, fifth graders. Oh, thanks, but no thanks. We just wanted to see if Mike and Gus would like to come eat with us. Thanks, TJ, but we're having a pretty good time over here. Yeah, I can hear you laughing. You guys are always laughing. What's so funny, anyway? Why, everyone but us fifth and sixth graders. Little kids are pint-sized and they don't even know their knowledge yet. They're pathetically amusing. But I thought you guys liked little kids. Oh, Vince, it's only a bit of harmless fun. Yeah, what they don't know won't hurt them. And believe me, those guys are so dumb, they don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm done with my lunch. Let's head out for some after lunch eating at the club. Don't be strangers, TJ. You're always welcome at the club. They've gone over to the bad side, TJ. We've lost them for good. You might be right, Vince. But on the other hand, maybe they're right. At least one last time, maybe we should drop in at the club. <laughs>